AMP 34795 and AMP 40644. I've got uh, cable ID LIMP 40644. These are the stories about those who we call journeymen. Recently on Journeyman. Yeah, something's wrong with that switch. As linemen say, don't wake up the dragon. Single 7 at 1041, you should be... A new journeyman starts here right now. I'm Cole Woodburn. I'm Ken Marino. I'm Steve Pack. I'm Dave Flower, Paradise Valley Operations. And we're going to change out a pole. have been given a job which will take them from their home base in North Phoenix, south to North Scottsdale in Paradise Valley, then deep into an area of Wild West history referred to as Old Town. Everyone has to remain sharp. Congestion is not just with the traffic, but also with the tourists and business visitors from all over the world enjoying the weather outdoors while shopping and sightseeing. Old Town is where the first power was brought into Scottsdale by Charles Miller in 1918 to help bring in the crucial irrigation. Mr. Miller, one of the founders of the Scottsdale Light and Power Company, purchased the power from the Arizona Falls Generating Plant, the first of four hydro plants located on the Arizona Canal. Steve's destination today is an aging pole in an Old Town neighborhood that's been standing for 73 years as indicated by the year on the date nail. This crew will probably never meet the journeyman who installed this pole back in 1940, but by how long it's been standing and doing its job, they can tell they did very good work. Positioning the boom truck to do the work needs to be near exact. Dave motions to Steve to 2-5, the lineman's universal hand sign to stand by while he steps off the distance. One oh five, go ahead. Got it ready for you, Dave. Okay, I'll, g I'll give you a call back. Uh, I'm doing a tailboard right now, and then I'll call you a little bit. Dave tells DOC to stand by also. His tailboard needs to be concise and thorough with no interruptions. He knows from experience the feeder he and his crew are working on today has high exposure and any mistake or oversight could mean disaster. Dave notes again to the crew the location of the job down to the cross streets. North of 2nd Street on 66th Street. Journeymen are highly trained and taught to remain calm if a crisis should occur. Imprinting the job's location in everyone's mind ensures being able to communicate the crew's location clearly to DOC or responding emergency personnel if needed. Stephen Cole put the finishing touches on the pole hole. Say that five times. 105 DOC. The hole can't be too deep or too shallow. 10% of the height of the pole plus two feet. That makes this one six and a half feet deep. Try digging that by hand in 120 degrees. Trey, I'm ready to pick up that contact tag. Dave is ready. It's time to bring in the bucket truck. Cole likes where he set the truck. The stiff legs are down and the grounds are out. And Kenny is hand picking the rubber guts he wants to use. Steve is finishing up the last Boeing, a temporary flexible jumper. Us old ones call them bed springs. Are you ready, Cole? Check and double check. It's time to make the donuts. Steve's 
Steve knows that hazards can come in all sizes and in any direction. He keeps his eye on these two until they're in the clear. Anything and everything that has the potential for contact is covered with insulating rubber or plastic. Dave scans the area for potential problems. Kenny notices he needs more room for the pole. Lowering the neutral a few feet will give him that. More rubber. A couple more blankets, a couple more guts. We get this party started. Stuff on your stuff too much. Phone lines, they're always in the way. As Neil would say, the eagle has landed. It's called thumb in the pole. This 45 foot steel pole weighs over 600 pounds, but now comes the heavy work. Steve and Dave are finished and clear the drop zone. Kenny and Cole can now start raising the wires, each carrying 7,200 volts to their new resting place. Thank you.
As linemen say, never leave your rubber gloves behind. A troubleman has found more problems. Let it eat. Cole installs last piece of bird guard. Everyone's safe. It's a perfect day. Let's head to the barn. Mm-hmm.